Hey YouTube, it's Rob at Z Motorsports. Well, after uh, a lot of figuring out and, and, and working, had this whole thing uh, uh, installed in the car where it would show me the uh, what gear I was in for my manual. Uh, come to find out that the bottom of the shifter in the 4G Eclipse has some slop in it. So in other words, what would happen is you'd go into... You'd, you'd slide it into gear, but it, it it would have just enough slack in it, and you had to have the, the sensor so close together that it would shift over, and the program would detect both of the sensors, detect the magnetic, excuse me, magnetic field, and what it'd do is, of course, the program's going to pick the lowest number uh, based on the way the the program with it, it's running the the program string so anyway so having one sensor for each location uh, first through six plus R for reverse wasn't going to work because when you would shift into it it would it would wobble around so I had to do some reevaluating and what I discovered was is the Eclipse, it, well, well I knew this, it has actually two levers here, let's use the pencils. It actually has two levers in it, okay? So when you have the, the shift lever in neutral, which is, you know, just set in the center for, uh, which is where second and, or I'm sorry, third and fourth is, okay? This lever is in a, a neutral position, and then as you go into third, it's going to pull this cable. Okay, when you go into fourth, it's going to push this cable. So all it's doing is pushing and pulling this cable right here. But as you, let's say you want to pull it over into first. Well, when you pull it over into first, when you pull it over, it moves this cable back. Okay, so now when you go into first or second, you're either you know pushing or pulling this cable. When you come back to the center, it puts that back in a neutral. When you come over to do fifth and sixth, it slides that cable again. Now when you come back to the neutral, of course it's going to neutral this. Now if you want to go to reverse, you come over and you have to, remember you have to lift up on the lever and you go over well when you do that it moves this lever even further okay so you've actually got four positions where this cable rides at and only two positions this one rides at so what I've done now is I've gone to six switches and by having six switches I'll have four of them on this cable and I'll have the other two on this cable so that to detect what gear you're in, you actually have to have two gears. And here we've got this, I've kind of got this laid out. So first, and I've labeled my positions A, A through F, first is actually going to have to have sensor B and F, okay, for it to be in first gear. So this would be in position B, this would be in position F, and don't worry about how they are, but this is E and F, and this is the four positions here, A, B, C, and D. So once I got these all mapped out, I was able to set these up. Now, reverse, it only hits position, it's the only one that hits position A. So that one, I just was able to ignore the F, and anytime it gets an A, we know it's going to be reverse. So I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this with two hands but I know I can show you reverse very easily there's reverse and we'll set one sensor by what we got this first gear is B and F so we're going to set one sensor by F we're going to set another magnet over here by B and look at there we're in first so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to move it from F to E which moves that center cable we've got second So there's third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. 
So now all this can go back in the car. And oh, by the way, to go from a single connection point to multiple, I had to rewrite the entire program. Um, so the entire uh, Arduino has a completely new program in it now. Um, I'll get this put back in the car tomorrow and hopefully I can do a video on this thing in and fully working uh, once I get all the sensors lined up but I basically already pretty much know they're going to be a lot easier than the uh, the single sensors. Um, so anyways, that was all, all fun and uh, I've had this thing in and out of the car so many times that my car has been actually torn apart now for like five days. So watch for us, uh, watch for a video coming up down the road, and hopefully all this will be working. Uh, if you got any questions on this or uh, or comments, you're going to be putting. Uh, you want to do something with Arduino and do your own shifting, um, your own shift indicator. Um, you know, shoot me a message. You know, I'll answer what questions I I, I have. What I know, I'm not an expert on this stuff, um, and we'll uh, we'll take it from there. If you just want to once I get this up and running uh, just want all the pieces and want to build it yourself but don't want to figure out the Arduino programming uh, let me know and I can get the uh, uh, an Arduino uh, programmed for you and just send that to you with all the hardware and you can just you know do all the final wiring yourself but anyways uh, thanks for watching